If you signed up for Canva but aren't really sure how to get started, then stick around as I show you everything you need to know in this quick start guide. Let's get started. Yeah, baby. Hello and welcome to another episode of Under Budget Marketing Design. If you're new to this channel, I've made it my mission to help understaffed marketers, small business owners, and DIYers create engaging graphics all while staying under budget. In this episode, I'll get you up to speed and teach you the ins and outs of Canva in no time. So as Harry Connick's character said in Independence Day, let's kick the tires and light the fires. First things first, what you wanna do is go to canva.com. If you don't have an account, I suggest you create one. It's completely free. When we log in, we're gonna be presented with this dashboard here. You can search for specific items, for example, business cards or letterheads. Here you have a section for just quick start templates. And then here you have your most recent designs. And again, some more quick start templates for you to choose from. To your left, you have all your designs. You have your brand kit, your create a team, all folders and trash. If you want to start creating, then let's just, let's just dive in, right? So you wanna to go to create a design. And then from here, you'll be presented with all these different options to choose from. You have your posters, your Instagram stories, infographics, programs, logos, brochures, resumes, everything is here for you to choose from. So we'll just choose poster for now. And then it's going to load our poster. This is our canvas. And then here to your left side, you see all these cool templates and they're all categorized. You have your quote posters, your campaign posters, motivation posters, black and white posters, every single poster you can possibly think of. I like the concept posters, so we'll just kind of choose one from here. But first, I want to tell you something. Canva essentially works off this, this, this little system here, right? So whatever you choose from, from over here, right? So, oh, 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 excuse me. Come back over here. Whatever you choose from in Creative Design, essentially you will have to choose a template. You don't necessarily have to choose a template. You can create one from, from scratch, but if you're hard on time, then I suggest you choose one of the awesome templates they've designed for you. So that essentially works for everything. So if you choose a banner, if you choose a poster, if you choose a resume, you're gonna see a whole bunch of templates for you to choose from. And those are all really good places to start off if you have nothing, if you have no idea where you're gonna start or how you're gonna design. And if you don't feel completely you know, comfortable designing, this is, the templates are really a, a saving grace. They're, they're an awesome place to start. And I'm gonna show you how to choose one and then edit them if you don't really necessarily like a template. The template's not necessarily set in stone. You can create and you know adjust from there. So I'm just gonna choose this one. I'll click on him and then he's now added to the artboard. From here, I can change a whole bunch of different elements with inside of this template. So for example, let's just say I want this, this little green circle here. I don't really like that color. I'm gonna change it. So you would just come over here, this little green color box, and then you have some default colors that Canva provides you, some document colors that are just colors that are being pulled from this template. And then if you'd like, you can just come over here to new color and then just drag this bad boy around. Or you can even add a custom hex code. So let's just say I want this guy, this little reddish color. Awesome. And then let's just say, I wanna maybe change the fonts. So I would just double click on this font here and then come over here, just like your word processor. And then Canva has a whole bunch of template, template, excuse me. Canva has a whole bunch of fonts for you to choose from. Some are paid. When you see this little crown, that means it's a paid version. So you would have to sign up to Canva Pro, I believe it's called, yeah, Canva Pro. Um, but for the most part, they have a lot of awesome fonts for you to choose from. So let's just say I wanna choose this guy. And then it's updated. From here, I can change the, the colors. I can italicize. I can add effects to the, um, to the font. I can do a whole bunch of stuff. I can change the opacity, the position. I can ungroup this, because currently these, the subhead and the head are grouped. So you just come over here, ungroup, and it's ungrouped. Let's just say I want to change this background image or add an effects. You can come over here and just change the color. You can add an effect to the background image. And from here, they have a whole bunch of, you know, cool effects that are, that are easy to implement and they look pretty cool. So you have duotones, you have bad TV, screen, 
color mix, glitch, liquify, pixelate, slice, all these really cool effects that can add a little pizzazz to your final product. Once you're done with that, say you're happy with your design, you can easily export this and send it to the printer. Let me show you how. So you come over here to print poster, click on that little arrow, and then you have your download link, your share link, your presentation link, your social media links that you can just kind of link out to friends and family. Um, but let's just go to print poster. Oh wait, I don't want to print this poster. I want to export it. Let's export this. So you're going to click on download and then click over here. And then you have some other options. You have your PNGs, your JPEGs, your standard PDF and your print PDF. Canvas suggesting you do the print PDF if you're going to print this. If not, you can just do the standard. You can even you can even save it as a JPEG. It just depends on what you want to use it for. So if I come over here to print PDF, let's just say I want crop marks because I'm going to send this to the printer and the printer requires crop marks. I'm going to click on that, click on download. It's going to prepare everything for you. It's going to show you this little mock-up here and try to upsell you. Let's just click out of that. And then from here, it's been downloaded click on open, and then you see we have this really high resolution poster that we easily created in Canva. And look at that, you have crap marks. That's awesome, guys. That's, that's, that's a game changer. Let's just say I wanted to add some more elements. Canva also has some really cool elements for you to choose from. They have all these pre-made little graphic elements that you can use. For instance, you have charts and you have some really cool illustrated other ones, like other other collections. So you have um, some rainbows over here, you have some fruits, and you would just essentially just choose one that works well with your design. Um, and they're really, they're really easy to edit too. So if I come over here, let's just say I wanna add this moon here. And the moon has been added. I can scale them up, scale them down, come over here, change the color. Essentially the same process. Canva makes it really easy to produce Choose really to produce any any graphic element, any any final product. It just is just really easy to do, and it, it's like having a design team, you know, there for you. They can they can back you up. If I was a designer, I would you know have an illustrator create me this this really cool this really cool element here, right? Because necessarily I'm not the best illustrator. So you essentially have a whole design team here, and they can help you produce some really cool engaging graphics all in a span of no time if i wanted to come to photos i can add a whole bunch of photos let's just say i wanted to change this background photo i can easily do that or if i wanted to add a new photo they have a whole bunch of free photos and they have a whole bunch of paid versions for example you would have to sign up to Canva pro for that but let's just say i want to add this this flower thing that looks pretty trendy and then it's been added to my canvas. I can scale up, I can scale down. Let's just say I wanna have them right here. That looks hideous, but why not? And then from there you can add you know, your effects, your filters, you can adjust, fine tune the brightness and the contrast. You can crop it. If you like to crop it, why not, right? And then you can flip it if you'd like. Here you can change the opacity, you can link it, you can lock it, you can delete it. You can do it all, guys, from this, this one little thing here. If you come over here, you can kind of open full screen. You can exit out of that, and you can zoom in and zoom out. And then you just kind of scroll up to see how everything looks. And then let's just zoom back out. Let's zoom back out to... 25%. From here you can share and you can animate. Um, if you're going to print this, obviously you can't print out animations, but if you're going to be sharing this digitally, you can, you know, add some cool little animations, which is also a game changer for you to easily do that. Because if I wanted to animate that, I would have to export that in, I don't know, from I would have to export each individual item and then uh, import it into After Effects or or you know some other workflow. Um, but for you to easily do that in in Canva is pretty is pretty awesome, and also time saving. Let's just say I was happy with the design and I'm ready to save it and move on. I would come to File and Save, 
and then it's just gonna save. As you make changes, usually Canva kind of um, just saves as you go in the background, um, but that doesn't necessarily happen all the time. So I, I find it's a good practice to constantly save as I go. And you guys, for the most part, that, that's how Canva works. That's, that's the gist of it. it. It might seem a little bit overwhelming, but it really isn't. It's essentially, it's the same, the same thing. You pick something you want to choose, or you pick something you want to, you want to design for. So let's just say a brochure, and then you click on that, and then you're going to be presented with all these different templates for you to choose from. Make those changes to the template, make it look like your brand, make it seem like it's part of your company, and then just have fun with it. Canva's a really fun product. It's awesome. I suggest it if you have no other means of designing or if you can't you know, necessarily afford uh, any of the Adobe products. This is an awesome, awesome alternative. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Again, please like and subscribe. I hope you learned something and I, I really, I enjoy doing these videos and I, I hope you, you know, kind of show up next time. <laughs> I, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much and have a great rest of your day. Yeah, baby.